Hi, this is George Cow, and in today's short video, I want to talk about one aspect of healthy money that I haven't addressed very much. Uh, in my other healthy money videos, I've talked about what's the minimum you should be charging for your services, what, how much you should be saving, what kind of things you should be saving for, how to track your money, etc. But now I want to spend a few minutes to address the very, very important aspect of um, the moral aspects of how we make money. And the main point I want to make is that how we make our money is far more important than how much money we make. And another way of saying is that the ends never justifies the means. So I see a lot of good-hearted people say, you know, I've been, I've been serving people, I've been so generous for so much of my life, it's fine for me now to use some marketing tactics that kind of feels gross and uh, doesn't feel right, but let me just make my money first, and then I'll be good, I'll be good again later. Or let me make my money uh, in a way that is questionable, but I'll be good in the rest of my life. You know, I'll be good to my friends and family, etc. And I understand. I totally get it. But um, let me encourage you to, to realize that how you make money is a central part of what your moral makeup really is. Um, so, so what I mean is, would you say to your uh, spouse, would you say to your friend, Hey, you know, I've been so good to you for so much of, of your life that just for the next little while, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna abuse you, and then I'll be good to you again. Okay, you you would never do that to someone you care for. Well, uh, let me let me just say for I'm gonna talk about it from the Christian perspective, from the Buddhist perspective, and from the secular perspective. If you're a Christian, you wouldn't say to God, God, you know. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been doing my best to be pious for much of my life. Now let me just do some bad things uh, to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you for a little while and then I'll be good again. No, you, if, you, if you truly love God and respect God, you would say, I would never do anything to hurt you. And when you make money in a way that you're not proud of, you are literally hurting the heart of God. And you are hurting the spirit community that's always trying to protect you and bless you. They are your dearest friends. Why would you hurt them even just for a little bit? No, right? From the Buddhist perspective, the, the, the things we do to make money that we're not proud of will reverberate life after life with negative karma effects for a long time to come. So stop it now. And you would rather make money honestly and humbly, even if you don't make that much, you can be proud of the way you make money. It's really important. Um, I, I feel like I'm starting over. Okay. Oh, and let me t about the secular perspective. When you make money in a way that you're not proud of, you'll find that anxiety follows you a lot. Um, anxiety, and you're always kind of hiding what you're doing for a living. And so those are some signs. And so, you know, don't, don't do it. It's not good for your health, your physical health especially, and, but also, your, of course, your mental, emotional health. Um, I did it for a long time, made money in a way that I, I wasn't proud of, and I feel like I'm starting over and really trying to make up for those lost years, and I really wish I, I didn't. And so we really, each of us, can truly find a way to serve in a way that is honest, that is of our higher values, and that um, allows us to make money. And it's, a lot of it is about being willing to change, being willing to look at what really is selling out there. If you're, if you're struggling making money, you've got to look at what's selling out there and see how your loves and passions and strengths matches something that's selling out there and sell that because then you'll know you make money for sure. But that's, that's, that, those are in my enrollment videos. You can watch those to figure out how to make money. But here I just want to say how you make money. The means never justifies the end because there are only means. There is no such thing as an end. There are only means. It's means all the way through. It's process all the way through. So make your process, make the how of your, the way you're making money priority and make that something you're proud of. So until the next video, I wish you well.